come on. Yep. Here we go. Blaine's boxing out of Accrington now, and he's, he looks a lot leaner, does Blaine, than he usually does. And here he is. He's obviously giving away a bit of a reach advantage this time. Usually Blaine has the reach advantage over his opponent. And bobbing and weaving here. Chris has taken the centre of the ring. Yeah, that's that's where Chris likes to be. Yeah, he's he's likes to know where his opponent is. He just picks off that jab, and it's got to work. Well, yeah, he's, he's a, that weight. He's a big guy, so he doesn't want to do a lot of moving around, does he? He wants to conserve his energy, but he is, as I said before, very mobile. Players just popping in and out. It's good guard from Blaine there. Good guard. It's good to see Blaine not getting excited as well. Yeah. Just settling down. Settle down, but also come at the body. I mean, the obvious point where you can get at Chris would be the body. So let's, go, you know, Blaine needs to go downstairs and the bit of us hit him on the side there. And Chris is actually unbeaten. Yeah, I think they've actually stopped it against his. I think they're both. I think they're both wary of each other's power. I think they both know. Oh. I saw Blaine wobble a little bit there. Oh, that's that, a big that, uppercut. He's catching that's him with he's catching him with the uppercut. Blaine's putting his head down a little bit and he's catching him as he goes in. But I just want to see Blaine work the body a little bit. He needs to work the body. Blaine's not doing enough, he's got to get in the tide, he's got to get in. He's struggling to get in there, he's, you know, is, he, has he, has he, has he, is Chris power, has he felt the power of Chris? I don't know, he's apprehensive. I think he don't want to feel his power by the looks of it. He's staying well aware. What do you think's at Ringo, Johnny? Oh, fucking hell, I keep missing her. Oh, oh, right, same again. Next time she comes in, maybe. What? I think more of the Yeah, of course it was. Just looking at his notes, Johnny. Chris, Chris doesn't even box out of a boxing club. Says here he's just just self-taught fighter. Here we go, round two. Blaine's got to be more aggressive, yeah. otherwise the fight will slip away from him. Oh, he's lovely! He, he's he, obviously he, been told to go for the body. He caught him then. It's what I was saying in the first round. He needs to attack the body. It's an obvious weak point. Another one, yes, that's it. He's got to take a risk. Oh, oh nice. lovely shot. Lovely that's shot. Lovely shot by Blaine. <laughs> See the referee staying well clear of these two. Oh my, bloody hell. Do you remember Earthquake and Typhoon? <laughs> the natural disasters. Oh, well, he's got to keep his head up. He's got to keep his head up. That's what Blaine tends to do. He throws a punch, but he has his head down. Oh, oh that was a good shot. Good shot to the body by Blaine. Good shot. See, Chris, Chris just never stops throwing that jab. He's he, he just jabbing all the time. The action needs to be stepped up a little bit in this one. Chris is just... He's doing what the clinch calls do. He's pulling away and he's making it difficult for Blaine to get inside. But Blaine's working. What I will say is Blaine's more the aggressor. 
Well, he has to be. Well, yeah. He needs to do something to get inside him. I agree with you. Thank you, Jonathan. Here we go, round three, D. I've got him level on my scorecards here, one round all. I've got him level. Curtis took the first, Blaine's took the second in my eyes. Oh, a lovely jab. Blaine's going to have to go all out now. Yeah, he has. going to have to give it all he's got. He wants to come out on top of this. Oh, oh nice. Nice overhand that Blaine there. I would like to see Chris attack a little bit more as well. Chris, Chris just needs to, uh, he, he needs to mix it up a bit. Yeah, you know, he does, yeah. He needs to get yeah, a few Yeah, I'd like to see him, yeah, I would, yeah. I mean, he's, take, he's take a risk, take a risk. He's using this jab and then it's the uppercut. Yeah. You know, it's, I think Blaine's, Blaine's picked up on that and he's, he's he has. getting near he him has. and that's why he's tired. I, I'm just thinking that... Just, oh, big punch. Just from the work rate alone, I think, you know... Well, he's definitely getting the best of this round. He's got to keep his head up. He's got to keep that head up. Nice. Oh, that was a nice shot that from was, Burris. That was a nice punch. Yeah, he was. Oh, ooh. if he'd have caught him then. Both are very tired now. Come on, Ben, come on, make some noise tonight, come on! Make some noise tonight, come on! Make some noise tonight! I went two rounds to him and one round to him. Two rounds. First two red. Right, I've gone red. I've gone red. What are you doing? What have you done? What have you done? That's fine. Yeah. Wait, what have you done then? What have you said? What did you say? Who's he give it to? Split decision to burn it. Yeah. Meet us two, two to one, yeah. He's on the winner after three rounds from the red corner, Chris Too big, Chris. Too big. Too big.